come down here. Right. And I got off. So tell us what you saw at the rally. Hi, I was at the rally on the 13th. We had front row seats because I'm an alternate delegate. We had seats with our names on it. So I got to sit in front. Lynn was right in front of me. And she was right by the ramp coming off from backstage. And I was right behind her. And when Trump was talking and he started to pull up that graph about illegal immigration, he turned his head and I'm watching the graph and I'm seeing the first three bullets just fly by right in front of me, right in front of the graph. And I just, my heart dropped thinking, President Trump's dead, they got him. And once I, uh, after the shooting stopped, I looked to see where he was. He was covered up by the Secret Service and I saw him get up with the Secret Service and raise his fist and say, fight, fight, fight. And that's when we, took a deep breath and uh, started to leave and everybody left calmly, but it's a traumatic experience. And I got to see him all the next week every day because I got to go to the convention in Milwaukee. Oh, cool. So it was like, it was family I got to see him so often. That must have been really scary though. Oh, it, it was on, on Saturday. Yeah, and, uh, crazy. So who do we have here today? Dagny, we missed you, Dagny. She didn't go, huh? She no, didn't go she to the rally. With, her, with uh, her daughter and, that, and their dog.
we're concerned about as Christians, as Christians going forward. So let's see what your thoughts are on the convention. On the first night, they had a Hindu prayer. They're praying to a false god. Okay. Right. They put his picture up there. God. And some people in the audience were closing their eyes as if they were praying to God. You know, I would have got up and laughed. They're not Hindu at all. Pretty certain they're not. So, what's your thoughts on something like that? Well, I do believe this is God's country. This is God's country, and we only pray to God. He's the one and only God because this is our country. When I spent that time in the Middle East. I would have never disrespected the Muslims. I would have never disrespected them. If I went to an event and they were doing something, you know, it was time for them to pray, you know, because they always have their time, they have to, you know, pull up a rug and pray. I would have never disrespected them. If you do that in your country, I mean, they may have put you in jail. I know people that are put in jail for certain things, so well, I would have never. people for less. Yeah. yeah. It's part of their culture. Yeah, so yeah. why is it okay that this is God's country, and we have to adhere to false gods, gods like you said. Now that was the they should have turned their back. So we are down here in Washington and we have just spotted Joe Biden's motorcade. Mr. Biden, Mr. Biden, I have a speedy delivery for you. It's from the president. I have some ice cream for you. It's the flavor of the month, red, white, and blue. And it's from the president, straight to you. I like ice cream. I like ice cream, it's ice cream day. I'm not the president no more, but I love ice cream. I don't have to do this no more. Where's everybody off? <laughs> Who's Bert? Oh, Bert! Who's Bert? Oh, Bert! Who's Bert? Trump! Trump! Look at you, it's so nice today. <laughs> fight! 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 I got my buddy, my buddy George is just falling on some of this black bird. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people are fired up today. Fired up. How could you not be fired up? Let's go, America! Woo! Wake up! Yeah. Fight! Yeah. Fight! Yeah. Fight! Yeah. Fight. Yeah. 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 Let's go! Let's go! Let's Okay. Right. 
Patriots. See that? Real Patriots right there. Yep. Get his ass out there in his damn little walker. You can't even get your ass out of the ass. So, um, basically, Trump just got shot at, and as he's always said, they're going after you, I'm just in the way. I, what are I, your thoughts on all everything totally, that happened to Butler? I, I totally agree. I mean, I knew something was going to happen because Viv Vivek said it. He said they tried with two impeachments. That didn't work. They tried with multiple court cases. That didn't work. So, I mean, what option do they have left? Exactly. I mean, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but come on. That kid, a 20-year-old kid, did not get up there without a little help. Somewhere, somewhere something, is the, everything aligned. Do you think uh, Biden's going to quit? Yeah, I know he is. He, he's done for. He's just buying a little bit of time so that the new person, like, I'm guessing Camilla, but you never know is going to be in the honeymoon phase, you know? So everyone's still going to love the new candidate when election time comes. So he's going to buy maybe another week or two, 10 days, then he's going to drop out. So everyone's still in love with the new Democratic candidate, but it's all the same. It doesn't matter who it is, you know? I will. We'll probably do a little bit after. You know what? We'll do a little after, too. <laughs> right, here you go. <laughs> But yeah, follow us anytime, and anytime you want to come out and join us, feel free. We uh, we keep extra flags here. Once you get it, it's fatal. Only Democrats get it. You'll start noticing. You start getting that dirty brown finger in the air. You start turning orange. That's the end of it. It's fatal, you're done. Even Fauci doesn't have a shot for it. You're dead, give it up. Trump won. Fight, fight, fight! It's definitely quieter over here. So we just heard that Biden is out. So what are we going to do now with all our props? What are we going to do with all our props? Mine's falling off. I'll take over. What do you think is, uh, who's going to take over for Bi Biden? Hillary. I think so, too. Yeah, it could be Hillary. Yeah. one of the two, yep. yep. And sure. You can put all, all the Democrats together. Trump's going to beat them all. Yeah, true. Very, no doubt, no doubt. It doesn't matter. We got this. Never surrender. Never. Come on. Let's go, America. Let's see this. This You're in history and in the making. Let's yep. do this. What are we doing? Yeah. We're going to fight, fight, fight. fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you think they're going to replace Biden with? Well, it could be Kamala. But right now at this point, I really don't give a shit who it is. <laughs> We're going to whoop ass on whoever it is. It's going to be a big old landslide, too big to rig. Just the bottom line. Bring on whoever you got, Democrats, and get ready for an ass whooping. Right there. Don't call it a comeback. There it is. Don't call it a comeback. Woo! I haven't really gotten any fingers or anything. Happy ice cream day! I love ice cream! Ooh, 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 ooh.
I got COVID! I got COVID! I need a hearing. I love ice cream! <laughs> you like ice cream better than Biden. So what would happen on tape? So what did we just hear? Uh, we heard that uh, Biden uh, quit. I don't know if he quit the race or quit his gender. I hear he's a woman now. Okay, go ahead.
phenomenal president. What a man. <laughs> Whoa. Is she smoking uh, Hunter's crack pipe? What the heck are these <laughs>